Welcome to my life as a full-time online teacher. So it is 6.30 in the morning. I have a 7 a.m. class, so I'm just gonna quickly get uh, dude up like so. And I have this spray that I use to kind of help me wake up to teach a 7 a.m. class. And then once I am done teaching, I get myself some breakfast. So I take the time, I make myself a pretty decent breakfast as you can see here, but first, mmm coffee. So once I finish breakfast, I properly get ready with a shower and makeup because it is filming day. I do YouTube videos on Mondays and I was taking care of that and doing another video for all school as well. So I had to edit that and send that over to them too. And then my first class without school and that's a private reading student that I meet up with. They read to me. After that, it's time for lunch. So I have Quest Pizza, and I can only eat half of it. It was already so filling and so good. After lunch, I have my Encanto Curl Music Lab class, followed by my Montessori Pods, where we're learning about the oceans. After that, I have a little bit of a break, so I take care of some admin things. I'm making my YouTube thumbnail art, and you'll see, ta-da! It's all brand new on my channel. I then have a class on all school, and then my last class of the day is my Crow Music Lab Club. At 5.45, I'm done, and me and my husband are on our way to our community group. We love our community group so much. We're there for like a few hours until about 9.30. We're now on our way home. I am tired. So I take a nice shower just to help wind down a little bit and get ready for bed. And that is a typical Monday for me. Welcome back to a day in a life as an online teacher. So it is 6.30 again. I am exhausted. I have a 7 a.m. class as usual. Get my spray going on. Teach my one all school class that I have in the morning. And then once I get done teaching the one all school class in the morning, I actually start prepping dinners for the week. So I'm making walking tacos for dinner tonight and then I'm also prepping for chicken enchiladas for another night to put in the freezer. I had to go to the grocery store because I didn't get a chance to on Sunday. Haha, <laughs> oops. But that's okay. So I only had to get a few things for my local Kroger stuff for the walking tacos and just a couple of pizzas and some cheese. So just a couple of things. Aw, there's boot. I didn't take a shower because I work from home and who's gonna smell me? Anyways, I'm not that stinky. But hey, look, a sneak peek of my video. I have my reader class on out school. Uh, this reader's almost six years old and reading chapter books. And now it's lunchtime. I had leftover mac and cheese from our community group. So yummy. And I'm bracing myself to teach back to back for five hours and Oh, it was absolutely exhausting. Numbers, life cycles, and pink series and blue series, and ugh, that was exhausting. So I took a quick shower and like a five minute nap because I had a headache. But hey, enchilada mix is ready. So I just put that in the freezer because we are going to have that for dinner at some point in the week. And then I'm getting ready to make the dinner for tonight, which is the walking tacos. Haha, <laughs> nacho cheese. They were really, really yummy. For the rest of the night, we just kind of veg out, and that's a typical Tuesday. Welcome back to a day in the life as a full-time online teacher. Today is Wednesday, and usually on Wednesdays, I have therapy in the mornings, but I didn't have therapy today, so I have a lot of time this morning, but it's not for waste. I still made a nice breakfast. And then after breakfast, I got myself ready to do some filming. But it's for a Crow Music Lab tutorial. Several of my YouTube subscribers have requested that I do a turning red tutorial. And your wish is my command. I did that for you. So I did the recording for that. I also did an additional recording for all school. And then quickly came lunch. I still had a lot of leftover mac and cheese, so I ate that real quick before my Encanto Crow Music Lab class. After that, 
I had my Montessori pods, where as you can see, we are wrapping up our time of learning about the oceans of the world. And thank you, Jack Hartman, for saving my butt, for helping these little ones remember the names of the oceans. They love the song. I had about a couple of hours of break, so I took care of some laundry and other household things. And then I redid my out school and all school intro video for their website just to update some things. After that, I had my pink and blue series classes. Yes, that is a caffeinated, bubbly, sparkly water. And that's because I have one more class at seven o'clock at night. <laughs> but I reheated those enchiladas. Me and my husband had dinner quickly. And then I taught my last class, which is a space club. And then I was tired. So guess what? I took another shower to wind down and to get ready for bed. Really, really tired, really feeling that. So I'm going to crochet my step niece's blanket for her birthday, watch the Netflix, and that is a typical Wednesday. Welcome back to a day in the life as a full-time online teacher. So for Thursday, I didn't have any all school classes this morning, which was strange, but I still got up, did some breakfast really quick. And then I also went ahead and got ready for the day. I just kept it pretty simple. So before my first class, I had to upload my next Crow Music Lab tutorial, which is the Turning Red. After that, I had my private reading class, which unfortunately my learner didn't show up. But after that, I reheated the last bit of that leftover mac and cheese. Still good. And then I only had two more classes, which is my Encompto Pro Music Lab class and then my Montessori Pods. We talked about the life cycle of the plant, and that was a lot of fun. So to wrap up my teaching day, I did a TikTok on pretty much rating the Crayola products that you see here. More to come for that. And then I took a shower and then after that I went with my husband to a friend's house. They had some storm damage that happened and we just decided yeah we're gonna help you out in that and come hang out with you. But they kind of live far away. So they made us food. We had some yummy blueberry Moscato that you saw there. And they live out in the middle of nowhere, so we heard lots of birds and seen lots of trees, as you can see here. And when we were coming back home, like we were seeing that glorious cotton candy sunset. I know the pictures don't do justice. We were really tired when we got home, so we just chilled in bed. Oh, bones. That's my husband. And that's Sammy. We're a happy little family. And so. That is a typical Thursday for me. Welcome back to a day in a life as a full-time online teacher. So it is Friday and I don't normally teach classes on Fridays, but I had to get up at 5 a.m. to post about the Main Street Electrical Parade. Made a TikTok on that. Look, there's Sammy. Isn't he so cute? Anyways, I realized I had some learners sign up for my flex classes, so I had to go and make those posts real quick so I wouldn't forget about them. And I decided, oh, I'm up. I'm just gonna go ahead and make some breakfast. So I'm gonna do something a little special. The Main Street Electrical Parade coming back. I'm making French toast. So I use some of that Texas toast and that batter that you see there. And it's not that sugary. It's actually the right amount of sweetness. I'm pretty sure it's the vanilla that makes it really, really tasty. And maybe the syrup, you know but fun breakfast for a fun day. Now, I did have to get ready, as you can see here, and we're going on a trip to Target. Yep, Target's first. Had to get a couple of things from there. And as you can see here, a couple of essentials, you know, and yes, coffee. I found myself in the toy department to say hello to Bluey and Bingo. They're so cute. And I found some blue raspberry Haribo gummies. I also had to go to Costco, get some groceries, as you can see here. I tried their churros out and they're okay. Not as good as Disney's, but you know. I then had to get ready for my YouTube live chat of my Chrome Music Lab tutorial. And then it was dinner time. 
Costco's meals are actually really tasty. You should try them out. There's my husband, and then that's a typical Friday.